What's happening boys, Danger Steady back here, and today we're going to be talking about Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit of my stats right here. Uh, I already have 1600 kills, 2.99 kill to death ratio, but I know a lot of you are going to be wondering, hey, Danny, what kind of kit do you use? What gun do you use? Uh, what gameplay or game mode do you do? And, uh, you know, that's what today's video is going to be all about. I guess first off, talking about the guns that I like. Uh, the T21B or the targeting rifle is uh, a really good gun. I want to say you get it around level 20 or so. Um, it is the T21, but with a scope on it, and it does slightly less damage. Um, the T21B is awesome for doing long range, um, like a headshot and a body shot to kill from distance. Um, and it's really accurate too. So uh, I use the T21. Be on uh, Walker Assault on Hoth and uh, on the desert map, uh, depending on uh, what side I'm doing and how, you know how the games how the games flowing out. But uh, I really like that on the big uh, wide open maps, uh, just like this. Uh, moving on, the EE3 is um, another amazing gun. Um, you get that at level 17, I believe. Um, it is the same weapon that Boba Fett has whenever you get him with the hero upgrade. Um, honestly, it's one of my favorite guns there is. Um, I use it in similar situations to when I would use the targeting rifle, but maybe like a little bit more close quarters. I also use it, uh, you know, on maps like Endor, uh, where you could, you have the possibility of running into somebody uh, real close range. But I want to say it's like a two or three round burst at distance, and then, uh, and, you know, up close, it's about a burst, burst and a half to kill somebody. So it's a very, very, very effective weapon. Uh, finally is the DL-44 uh, blaster pistol. Uh, this is also the same gun that Han Solo uses whenever you get the Han Solo calling. To unlock this weapon very early, you had to pre-order the game. But let me tell you, this thing is an absolute machine at close range. Um, you know, it's one two-hit kill. Um, and the easiest way at real, real close range is just to, honestly, it's just to hit fire people. But this thing is just an absolute machine. And use it if you can because it's awesome. Coming up last, we have the star cards and the hand that I use. Uh, starting on the left, we have the jump pack. Uh, I think the jump pack is pretty self explanatory. Um, you know, in, in terms of getting around the map faster, uh, you can use it to jump and get out of. You know like a pretty sticky situation real quick but the reason i really like it is the fact that you can use it to get to areas that uh, most other players can't get to um, high up on the cliffs up on trees uh, up on structure and basically this allows you to shoot down on your enemy uh, the explosive shot is op as fuck i would highly recommend using it um, basically what it does is turns your uh, blaster into a grenade launcher per se where your all your pulses do uh, splash damage and it's pretty unreal uh, finally on the right hand side I use the pulse cannon I really like it I hate the fact that you have to charge it up I also don't like the fact that it shoots the green laser across the map it gets your position away every once in a while um, really looking forward to getting the cycler rifle and I'm definitely going to replace that uh, whenever I do get that in that is at level 28 I believe so uh, you know, I'm, I'm relatively close to uh, unlocking the uh, cycle rifle. Uh, last but not least, guys, I used the scout trait. Um, you know, it shows the benefits on the right. Um, I looked at all the traits pretty carefully before I bought one because I think it was 7,000 uh, 7, points. And honestly, there's, there, there's really not any that are, you know, super, super fantastic. To the point where I would buy any other one over the scout. Uh, the scout's pretty good. The third level of it allows you to reset your uh, your cooling down. Like every time you kill somebody, your weapon automatically cools down all the way to the bottom, which is awesome. And you also don't show up on radar, which is pretty awesome too. Especially when uh, you play like I do, when you're kind of lone wolfing it out there, or you're either trying to sneak behind enemy lines or anything like that. It's really good for. Uh, uh, staying concealed um, Honestly guys, I hope this really helps out um, um, There's definitely gonna be gameplay to come you'll you'll see how I how I play Walker Assault Which is the game that I really like But honestly, I'm looking forward to bringing you guys some battlefield uh, or Star Wars Battlefront uh, Content I would look for that uh, either today or uh, 
you know, tomorrow at some point. Um, <laughs> I had a couple good games earlier and I forgot to record them. I went like 59 and 7 on Hoth or something. And I, I completely forgot to record the second half of the game, so I completely screwed that. But I'm going to try and get more diligent with recording the videos. And as soon as I do, I'm going to get them out to you. But uh, guys, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you with more content to come. Peace. Thank you.